today. Nope, not today. Not today. How about it, man? I'm skills here. So I finally got done with my son's arcade, tabletop arcade. Um, he's a big Mario fan, so he plays and looks at a lot of Mario. Um, so, like I said before, basically what this was was a, a kid's like uh, dresser. It had these like little bars that ran across to each one of these little plank deals here and had a cloth like a uh, bottom for it so these little cloth drawers sat on top of these uh sat on top of it so basically you know he's big now and uh we had no use for it and i just decided to keep him just just keep them for some. I started to make a shoe rack out of them, but I was like, you know what? I know what I could do with them. So just to show you, this thing does have Paw Patrol on the side of it. And like I say, you have like, this is where the studs used to go. But I use the studs for certain things, like tucking away little secret buttons. That's like a turbo button. Well, you know, playing different games. I'll probably remove it and, and change it into something more more discreet looking. Um, let me show you this cool feature. So, eventually, all of this Paw Patrol stuff will probably be, it's probably going to be covered, wrapped and covered along with the screws, screw holes. But one of the cooler things, like I say, I like to use these holes for secret things. Like, that's the volume knob to turn the unit up and down. Um, so, like I said, I decided to keep the wood finished. I started to wrap this whole center console, but I just kind of like just trimmed it out a little bit. I may pull it up and do something different to it. Um, it's got the wood, actual wood paneling up on the bottom. This birch wood paneling on the bottom. Use leg sand to cover it. So it's leg sand covering so you won't get any splinters or anything in your hand. Um, same trimming run up the sides. Now it's actually leg sand right here also. I decided to leave all this wood, uh, wood so the old, this whole center piece of like kind of blend in and everything else was red. But I left this see through for a reason because I'm probably going to put lights in here eventually where to light up at night. Uh, right now, it's just, you know, I just let them play with it right now and I'll get back to it because most of the stuff I'll be doing to it now is like, you know, some stuff like lighting. Uh, these speakers, these old same, same old uh, USB speakers that I had laying around that I was cutting up. At first they were like square, but I decided to go ahead and, you know, just go ahead and just make them round, just trim them up and round them up a little bit. So that's basically the whole little speaker chamber compartment that I eventually put lights in. Um, and like I say, it's fully functional. You know, you got your paws and whatnot. And just to show you that it was a, a volume knob, I'll turn this up briefly and turn it down. And I can actually, I can crank it pretty loud. And I'll back back out of it. Or I can turn them off if I should choose to. They're off, now I'll turn them back on. So, um, it's just like, uh, like you know, something I want to, to, to build for them. And it's just, just parts that were laying around the house. I mean, um, everything was laying around the house except, I think, the joystick and the the uh, buttons. Um, that's the only thing I had to order. Everything else was laying around the house. I had the wood laying around the house. Uh, God knows the speakers are, are ancient old. <laughs> the monitor was laying around the house. It was um, part of my um, studio setup because I had a, a three screen uh, 
monitor set up to it. So like I said, I just don't even use three screens any longer. So I had these extra monitors laying around and that's how I ended up building the uh, computer desk that you probably have saw. And I had this little small monitor laying around. I said, well, I'll go ahead and I'll make an arcade out of a tabletop arcade. So um, it was an easy way to build it. You know, um, a lot of the stuff I did, eyeballing it on site, but it just, it's so when it comes to making these uh, units, you can make them so many different ways. Um, the Raspberry Pi, I had the Raspberry Pi uh, that's running this thing, it's on the inside, I already had that laying around. So pretty much everything I had already on hand, I definitely, you know, enjoyed the build. So uh, hopefully we'll venture into building a full size, uh, maybe a two player arcade unit and I'm thinking on it, so I'll stew on that for a little while and probably get back onto the video game thing um, eventually. But right now, this is good enough for him just to keep him occupied for a while. I mean, he'll go between um, this unit and, and the desk, so it's whichever one he chooses to play with. Um, I'm glad that he likes vintage games because um, I definitely grew up on these games, and at this point, he beats me on these games now, so um big thumbs up to him for that um but yeah just wanted to share that with you guys so stay tuned for more